What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another epic Soupy Poopy 69 YouTube video. Today I'm gonna be ranting about a group of people that really, they really grind my gears. They're arrogant, uh, resistant to change, and speak condescendingly about generations younger than them. Nope, I'm not talking about boomers. I'll though that applies to boomers. I'm talking about millennials. I'm sure by now you've all seen the OK Boomer meme that was put to death by millennials writing about it in news articles. At first I had absolutely no clue why they picked that meme to write so many articles about. I don't know, I guess maybe they think there's like some common ground between Gen Z and millennials with hating boomers. How do you do, fellow kids? What? For the sake of consistency and my sanity, I'm gonna be nailing down the parameters for the four largest generations left on Earth. Obviously, you can give or take a couple years, I'm not Merriam-Webster. Okay, so first we got baby boomers, born between 1946 and 1964. They're all between the ages of 55 and 77. Up next, we got Generation X, born between 1965 and 1980. They're all between the ages of 54 and 39. I'm not really gonna be talking about Generation X, just think of them as like the soccer moms, the Karens. After Generation X, we have millennials, born between 1981 and 1996. They're all between the ages of 38 and 23. Last but not least, we got Generation Z. Anyone born after 1996 is a Zoomer. You gotta be 22 or younger to enter the club. I'm 19 years old, so I'm in Generation Z. Like every single human being on the planet, I have grown up with my opinions being dismissed by one or more people with the justification that I'm too young to understand things. It's fine, that's completely expected, and that's part of the reason why I don't like boomers. However, there's a special place in my heart where I hold an even deeper hatred for millennials. See, boomers at least don't try to act like they're in touch with youth. Millennials, despite all of them being over 23, seem to think that they know exactly what youth are thinking and know how Gen Z culture works, which I, I have no fucking clue why. They make jokes on Twitter and TikTok like, ha ha ha, am I too old for this? It, it just looks uncomfortable. There isn't a specific age where you're too old to be on social media. It's more of when you start to become super insecure about it. Seeing boomers and Gen X write articles about social media and youth culture when I was growing up was always funny because it seemed like if there was a detail they could possibly get wrong, they did. Millennials are doing the exact same thing right now and the perfect example is with TikTok. Let's take a look at this article by the New York Times written by who I'm assuming is to be a millennial. Okay, boomer marks the end of friendly generational relations. Right off the bat, I don't get this. To imply that friendly generational relations ever existed is stupid. In a viral audio clip on TikTok, a white-haired man in a baseball cap and polo shirt declares, The millennials in Generation Z have the Peter Pan syndrome. They don't ever want to grow up. He's just a boomer saying boomer shit. Now, I'd like to clarify that he isn't making a formal argument against a political ideology or an economic system. He's just generalizing youth in a demeaning manner. Thousands of teens have responded through remixed reaction videos and art projects with a simple phrase, Okay, boomer. Yeah, that's the meme. It's not about politics. It's about the stereotype that boomers tend to dismiss the opinions of younger people. That's why it's funny. And since older people got mad at it, it makes it even funnier. OK Boomer has become Generation Z's endlessly repeated retort to the problem of older people who just don't get it. A rallying cry for millions of fed up kids. No, not, not at all. It's just a meme. The problem of older people who just don't get it? That's a real fucking pathetic attempt at appealing to the youth. And what are these millions of kids fed up with? Just old people as a whole? Teenagers use it to reply to cringy YouTube videos, Donald Trump tweets, and basically any person over 30 who says something condescending about young people and the issues that matter to them. I like how that's the standard they set to define a legitimate movement about issues that matter to Gen Z, something that's being used to reply to cringy YouTube videos and Donald Trump tweets. I think I got your next article for you guys. Fake and gay marks the end of journalistic integrity and knowledge. Also, you don't have to be 30 or condescending. No one is safe from OK Boomer. Just check the comment section of this video. The article is in the style section of the New York Times. So um, it's about how the phrase blew up on TikTok and a bunch of people were creating merch on Redbubble and Teespring and about how they were making a ton of money. But that's not the bad part. The bad part is how all these people being interviewed are talking about it as if it's some kind of political movement. Every movement needs an anthem, and the undisputed Boomer Backlash hymn is a song written and produced by Jonathan Williams, a 20-year-old college student, titled inevitably, OK Boomer. Every movement needs an anthem. Right there, that should be an indication that this article is a joke, right? Unfortunately, no. Millennials and Gen Xers are on our side, but I think Gen Z is finally putting their feet in the ground and saying enough is enough says Mr. Cooley. What are they even talking about? Enough is enough? 
Maybe they should change the anthem to Pumped Up Kicks. Mr. Cooley, you could not be more incorrect. There are no sides, and by allowing millennials to compare a stupid meme that isn't even funny anymore to a movement, that's the furthest you could do from being on our side. These types of articles are exactly why people feel justified in their dismissing entire groups of people based on their age. We're not taking a jab at boomers as a whole. We're not going for their lives, said Christopher Mezer, 18. If it's a jab at anyone, it's outdated political figures who try to run our lives. Christopher, don't try and act like this is a political movement for even one second. You know for a fact Sarah Palin and Mitt Romney aren't sitting on some polar bear rug reviewing your TikToks that say, okay, boomer. Being a boomer is more of a mindset than being about age. Anyone can be a boomer as long as they're closed-minded or against change. That doesn't sit well with me. All memes aside, boomer means old and nothing else. But they're using the word as an insult to people it may not originally apply to. Take the N-word, for example. I'm sure you've all met some racist Southerner that tries to justify his constant use of the N-word by saying, something like, I know more white than I know black n****s. Obviously, boomers haven't had to face nearly the same struggles that African Americans have in American history. The only reason I draw that comparison is to show how voluntarily ignoring the original definition of the word, trying to redefine it, makes you look retarded in all cases. I get that the article, well, I hope that the article, for the author's sake, is really thinly veiled sarcasm or some form of satire. Who even wrote this? Taylor Lorenz. Taylor, I don't know how old you are, but you are officially an honorary boomer. These fucking millennials writing about Gen Z culture is so annoying. They're like English teachers trying to draw meaning from something that's obviously not there. And they're making us look stupid in the process. Millennials hate boomers because of their closed-mindedness. You know, you always hear boomers saying shit like, back in my day we had the good music, everything on TV was good, and people knew what the word respect meant. Now this is a very ignorant train of thought for many reasons. You can't speak on behalf of an entire generation even if you were a part of it. I can say with confidence that members of every generation grew up with different tastes in music, different favorite TV shows, and in the case of boomers, different rights. A lot of people cling to nostalgia because despite adaptability being one of our greatest attributes, most people don't like change. Believe it or not, that behavior isn't exclusive to boomers. What if I told you millennials used to do stuff exactly like that, just under a different name? Let's take a trip back in time about five years ago. It's 2014. You log on to Twitter and the first thing you see is some 23-year-old dude with a busted hairline tweeting a picture of a blockbuster VHS with the caption, only 90s kids remember this. You think to yourself, huh, that's odd. Not just because you also grew up with that, but because this man thought it was okay to go to Supercuts with a $2 bill. You keep scrolling. You see another meme, this time by a 24-year-old woman with her astrological sign in her bio. Only 90s kids remember these shows. I'm sure you all remember when the internet was plagued with these swarms of 90s kids. Millennials, for the first time, had a platform where it was strictly millennials and people younger than them. And so they were creating these inside jokes and memes that they could relate to and they found funny. Since older generations weren't really that active on social media platforms like Twitter, the only people they were really ostracizing was Gen Z. This exclusionary mindset that snowballed to the point where 90s kids were claiming normal childhood things like playing outside and drawing the little S thing in your notebooks were exclusive to their generation's childhood only. Younger generations started seeing this and got a little annoyed because they realized how fucking stupid these millennials were being and started making fun of them. Only 90s kids remember this became a meme with people using things like the Twin Towers, uh, Two Genders, app layouts after updates. You know, shit that obviously everyone remembers. The meme was sort of turned upside down and used to shame 90s kids who thought their age was a personality. Trade. Don't get me wrong, you can make fun of anyone for any reason, just keep that same energy up when you get the backlash. Following the end of the reign of the 90s kids, when they all grew up and had to start getting jobs, you had the late 90s kids, the early 2000s kids, the late 2000s kids following in their footsteps, attempting to capture the throne of the long lost kingdom of social media supremacy. Because of the insane amounts of only 90s kids remember this memes, I look at millennials as being closer to boomers than Gen Z. They're so fucking out of touch. I saw a tweet from uh, this guy named Dave. He runs the Washington Post TikTok. He's a millennial. I wish I had screenshotted it. He he said something like, So I guess Gen Z found out about The Office and knowing about it gets you clout on TikTok. I didn't have the heart to tell him that literally fucking everyone knows about The Office. Gen Z has known about The Office for years now. Dave, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. But also, you're doing really good at keeping up with the TikTok trends, so gold star. Boomers making fun of millennials for their lack of success and lack of work ethic is their way of minimizing the accomplishments of future generations. Because let's face it, most of these boomers are old as shit, and the only way that they're gonna look better in history is if they make future generations look worse by comparison. Millennials might be too stupid to realize it, but that's what they're doing to Gen Z. By taking our stupid memes like OK Boomer and telling kids, if you pretend like this was some sort of political movement, we'll put your Instagram in the newspaper, 
you're making all of Gen Z look like fucking idiots. Just like this guy doesn't represent boomers and this guy doesn't represent millennials, don't let these guys represent Gen Z. Political beliefs, economic statuses, and overall intelligence aren't things that should be tied down to specific generations. The internet has changed society and culture in so many ways. Look at the fact that a stupid meme like OK Boomer can be understood by so many people in such a short period of time. Memes are basically inside jokes shared amongst an entire generation. That's what this all comes back to. A joke, not a movement, not a stance, a fucking meme. In my honest opinion, I think the 2016 election news cycle, all the memes that came out of that is what really desensitized Generation Z to the idea of mixing politics and memes without feeling the need to take it seriously all the time. Also, uh, millennials, the more you guys write articles about PewDiePie being a Nazi or ISIS using TikTok to recruit members, the more we realize just how out of touch you fucking 90s kids are. In conclusion, millennials and boomers hate each other because they are so similar and I hate both because they are annoying and hypocritical. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go play Fortnite and beat my dick to Belle Delphine. Deuces.